gonna hear you and, okay. and I'll hear I, from I, the I'm just gonna keep attorney. my hand up until you're ready to call me if that's okay. Okay, then I won't now. Go ahead, city attorney. I had called on you. But thank you. I was before you. Mr. Winfrey. I didn't give you thank the you floor. for the opportunity. You're out of order. I called on the city attorney. Oh, Go I thought you were city calling attorney. on me. You're getting a warning. Don't do it. Not today. Madam, Madam City Attorney, you misunderstood. You okay? I'm warning you. I don't believe you misheard me. I speak well. You are, Madam Attorney. Thank you. Um, I just want to let you know for the record. So, um, Ms. Worthen. Yeah, I'm going to disagree with our City Attorney. Uh, we just voted to include this as part of the scope. It's always been part of the scope, as Monica has already stated. It's not always been part of the scope. I'm Don't sorry, Mr. Mays, I'm speaking. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Go proceed. Thank you. But don't give bad information. Again? When you speak. Point of information. Excuse me. Point of information. <laughs> I can interrupt. You can interrupt. Don't publicly tell us bad information. And are you sure that this point was of part of the scope? That is not a point of information. It is when I put it in the form of a question, Ms. G Ms. 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 Fields. I recognize your point of order is denied. And I'm going to ask. I, Ms. Wor this your, Mr. Metcalf, can you come and remove Ms. Fields uh, from this I meeting? appeal that ruling. It's appeal. Mr. Metcalf, come stand no, by Ms. I Fields. appeal your and ruling. Gonna, it's an appeal. Is there a second? Thank you. I know y'all going to try to save us. She ain't going to howl out in these hearings. Ms. Fields uh, had her first warning by this chair. So we know these personalities. This going to go on and on and on, and we ain't going to get nowhere. I'm asking that she be removed now. Ms. Worthen has appealed it, and so here we go. You can't just holler out. It ain't going to happen. Ain't nobody going to dictate, in her words, the process, bully the process. This ain't show and tell. This is real. Ms. Worthen, argue your case. First of all, this is a mockery. Again, it is an attempt to silence voices. Uh, I'm disappointed in our city attorney's statement. Uh, that we do not have the right to ask these questions. I believe that is absolutely incorrect. And I believe our voices today are trying to be silenced so that our questions do not get answered. Ms. Fields has every right to ask the questions. These questions are pertinent. It is about the city's finances. And I, I will not continue to sit here while my colleagues are being interrupted unfairly. Do that mean you'll leave? That would be a blessing. Go ahead, Ms. Galloway. Oh. Ms. Fields, if not, proceed. You interrupted her. You interrupted her by saying point of information, but you did not ask a question, which is what a point of information is. Instead, you used a point of information to just interrupt her. So I called a point of order because that is against the rules. So the appeal is, there's no reason I should be removed for basically calling a point of order, which is my right to do so when I find that someone is breaking the rules in this council meeting. Ms. Fields, I ruled on your point of order. In fact, I denied it. And Ms. Worthing, as I got to the end, I put it in the form of a question, but you were so busy doing a point of order on me, you didn't hear the question. Those are the facts. I'm telling you, if you want to talk, cut your mic off. Because after I entertain your point of order and you want to keep talking in the mic, you're being disruptive. And this is a serious hearing. I know what happened. It's recorded. Ms. Galloway. Um, I, I hope that my colleagues will um, support this appeal. I hope that none of us are removed. But Councilman Mays, I have to say, I hope that the way that you're treating us with the warnings and the I'm ruling you out of order is not retaliatory for being removed from the last council meeting. None of us chaired that meeting. None of us 
um, operated in a, in a behavior that warranted being removed today. And so I just hope that this isn't backlash from that. And I have to tell you, in sitting up here, it feels like there is retaliation going on here. And I, too, want to move forward with this. And I think that none of my colleagues have done anything to be removed from this meeting on Maybe today. they wanted to go out in the media that we won't allow certain questions with relevant witnesses. Well, they are wrong. And the majority is voting, Santino voting with them. That's that old five. And Mr. President, I wouldn't vote with him, but you've been voting with him too on some of this. <laughs> that same one that removed me without an appeal. Y'all got a short memory. I got a long memory. I don't play. So now if there's no more discussion on the appeal, I'm going to restate the appeal. Y'all in layman's terms trying to save Ms. Fields. Because that's why Mr. Metcalf is standing there. I'm going to remove her and getting close to remove Worthen, and we're going to proceed. So if you vote yes, you save Ms. Fields. If you vote no, Mr. Metcalf is going to remove her. I don't care what you do. I'm going to just keep chairing the meeting and going to be fair or wrong across the board. Any more discussion on the appeal? Roll call, Madam Clerk. Ms. Winfrey Carter? No. Mr. Winfrey? No. Ms. Galloway? Yes. Mr. Griggs? Yes. Ms. Worthing? Yes. Mr. Mays? No. Mr. Davis? No. Mr. Guerra? Yes. Ms. Fields? Yes. The vote is. Um, Five yes, four no. Five yes and four no. Mr. Guerra, you did it. Now, let me say this. Now we got a motion on the floor. Hopefully, and it ain't no bad feeling one way or another. I did listen to what you were saying, Stacy. How do you pronounce his last name? Shrimp. 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 How do you, Mr. Mr. Stacy? How do you pronounce your last name? Swimp. 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 Not shrimp, but swimp. <laughs> Mr. Swimp. Reverend, Reverend Swimp. Um, I had an experience with a cricket person in the police department. Still have the opportunity for folks to do the work. Mr. Griggs, you plan on voting in favor of the transfer of this property? What's your point? That's um, you out of order. It is appropriate. Um, Ms. Ms. I'm going to give you one warning. You are not a parliamentarian. I've ruled on your point of order. And I'm telling you, I ain't out of order. You out of order now, Mr. Ms. 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 Fields. If you want to start some mess with this chair, I'm going to show you how it can be done. It's not out of order, Mr. Ms. Well, appeal it. There's an appeal to the ruling of the chair that I can't talk to Mr. Griggs. Is there a second? I'll second. It's been moved and second that I can't talk and ask Mr. Griggs' question. Now, um, I'm going to state this. I can ask any council person under Robert's rules if you pro a con. Really, you're supposed to alternate under Robert's rules. Let me hear from a pro. And let me hear from a con. As you try to get your votes together in discussion, I can guarantee you 100 percent those well trained in chairing the meetings um, will not do it like you've seen in the past. You'll do it the way that I'm telling you. Is there a pro? Is there a con? Is there a pro? Is there a con? My point of order is the chair cannot ask a council member how they're going to vote. No, Prior hold up, to hold up, vote. hold up. That you out of order. I said you ruled me out of order for giving my initial position. And I'm asking you to restate. That isn't what was said that or what isn't happened. That is fact what I was doing, giving my initial position on my ruling before I open up the floor to you and everybody else. And that's in fact how it worked. Now you called the point of order. And if you continue to use point of orders wrong, you're going to be called the point of order, which is a privileged motion that stops everything. Explain to me in this council what I'm missing about why you interrupted me wrongfully with a point of order. If you can't do that, I'm going to 
will proceed with my explanation and then open the floor. If you think you can do it, this is your chance. Mr. Mays, you're not handling this correctly. Okay, we're fixing to proceed. I done gave you two, three warnings. Mr. Booth, Sergeant Booth, in the old days, she would be gone. But I wanted to stay here. I wanted to continue to try to make this council look like something that I won't allow it to be, and I'm going to continue to highlight her. And then anybody on this council that think that I wasn't doing right in the opening statements, raise your hand. It should be one hand up, you, Ms. Fields. And so now this is what I'm going to say. But Ms. Fields, you're out of order. You ain't got the flow. I do have a flow. Okay, well, let me say this. Since you want to say I do have a flow, you talking like black folks now being funny? Mr. Booth, can you come forward? Ms. Fields, I'm going to ask you to be removed if you keep making fun of black folk. I have got the flow. And you out of order? and you're starting to do that nasty stuff, and I'm not going to put up with it, and you're not going to make this city look stupid, because you sure can't make me look stupid. You fool with me, you going to look stupid. Now let us get on with this appeal, and don't interrupt me no more with no points or orders when I'm trying to give my initial statements as it relates to the appeal. Now I'm going to start over. you it's proper. And so I'm going to hope that y'all, I don't even think she got enough votes to win. Request for information. Could the secretary read back? Ms. Fields, when you get the flow, you'll do it. No, I'm not allowing you right now. You out of order. You out of order. Mr. Booth, come forward. Mr. Booth, come forward. You're not going to interrupt this doggone meeting with that mess. Wait till you get the flow and be recognized. You done started that mess again. Come stand by her. Don't remove her. But ain't nobody playing with her. I'm not playing with you. And I'm going to spend all the time on you that you want. I'm not recognizing you until I give you the flow. You're not going to continue to interrupt this chair. I'm not the other chairs. Now, I done gave you all kind of leeway, Ms. Fields. And you're going to wait till you get the floor. You're not going to interrupt using points of orders and requests for information wrongfully. You misstated the point of order. The point of order was not, can you speak with Mr. Griggs, as you've just stated. The point of order was, you asked Mr. Griggs how he was going to vote on an upcoming vote. That is not appropriate. The chair cannot do that. That's why I called a point of order. And that's specifically exactly what was said. Any other discussion on this appeal? Any other discussion on this appeal before I give the chair's final comments? Any other discussion on this appeal? As I was attempting to say, I can assure you, Robert's Rules asked for pro and con. A pro and con is nothing but how do you take a position on this particular discussion item. Yes or no? How you going to vote? Pro or con? So Ms. Fields just ain't astute. She don't know that we can talk to each other in an open meeting. She think you can't because they try to get certain folks to vote their way. And then we all do. That's what we're up here for, to debate, no discuss, problem. and try to get votes. Everybody clear? Yes, the chair is right. No, the chair is wrong. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Okay, Ms. Worthing? No. Mr. Mays? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mr. Guerra? No. Ms. Fields? No. Ms. Winfrey Carter? Yes. Mr. Griggs? No. Okay, so, so we. If I could announce. Go ahead with the vote. It's a three yes and four no. Uh, Mr. Booth, that appeals failed. And oh, Ms. And, and Mr. President, I have one last thing. Sure. Proceed. You are the president, you are chairing this meeting. I, for one, do not appreciate having Mr. Mays chair your meeting for you. Is that what you wanted? Was that important enough to tell me out like this? That's pathetic. I want you to no. know that. That is pathetic. 
We need some help there. Point of order. I yield to Mr. Greenwell. Hold Point of order. Mr. Mays used up all of his five minutes. The timer went off on him, and he asked to uh, oh, wrap right. up. So he has no more time. That's right. Thank that's you, right. sir. That's true. That's she, true. I know she's going to be on so me. Councilman, right. Councilman Griggs. <laughs> okay, in looking at this for the first time, this resolution 190238. Hey, man. Good job. Oh, no, I'm not going to be like this. 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 I'm not